Bill is a 2015 release comedy directed by Richard Bracewell. Yes, the Bill of the title is William Shakespeare, who uh, is played by Matthew Bainton. And it, it's, a, well, it's a humorous look at the, the sort of lost years where historians don't really know what Shakespeare was up to. So this film attempts to, to fill in the gaps <laughs> with a humorous tale of, uh, of a plot to kill Elizabeth I by, um, was it King Philip, Philip of Spain II? That's it. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, and how he came to be a playwright, you know, it shows him as being a failed musician and, and having you know, attempted several other uh, careers before, before becoming a playwright. And, um, you know, if you know anything about Shakespeare, you see lot, we see familiar um, people from his life, such as um, Christopher Marlowe, Marlow, yeah. who was the other playwright who, you know, who, who obviously was writing plays at the same time as Shakespeare and, and I think heavily influenced him and I think there's, there's certain theories that maybe Shakespeare Rumors. borrowed from him slightly. Or that even Christopher Marlowe was Shakespeare. Well, that's that as well, one. yeah. And obviously he was he was killed, well, apparently, and there's even, you know, there's, there's rumours and mysteries around his death as well. Well, there's attempts to fill in the gap on that as well. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a completely fictional account. You know, if, you, if you're familiar with horrible histories at all, you'll recognise a lot of the people in in this okay right so yeah so i'm uh i'd never seen this before obviously <clears throat> when you mentioned we should do it i have um I, I know horrible histories i've watched one episode of horrible histories um i'm very hard to please when it comes to comedy but i thoroughly enjoyed this film thank god for that <laughs> yeah it, uh, i was holding out on you yeah, there. yeah no i really enjoyed it um it, i mean it, it had its flaws it wasn't it wasn't like perfect or anything but i i thought it, it was done really well mm. um I mean, I suppose, you know, obviously, it's, it's two main inspirations are Blackadder and, and Monty Python. Yeah, absolutely. And it's absolutely. not a patch on those films, but, you know, it's, that's fine. Well, it's, you know, it's it obviously aimed slightly younger, so younger it doesn't take audience. as many risks. Well, I don't know, there's a few jokes in here. Well, yeah, there, there's, definitely, there's definitely jokes for adults that will go straight over kids' heads. Yeah, yeah, but I thought, I, I, thought I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I was kind of thinking maybe I'll, I'll, I'll like it. But no, I, I thought it was really great, um, made me laugh. On numerous occasions, <laughs> not every joke hit. There were a few jokes that kind of <laughs> fell by the wayside, and I also have sometimes I have a little bit of problem where um, actors or when people try to be funny, and there's a couple of those moments where mm. they're almost trying too hard for the joke to come across, and it doesn't work as well as it, it maybe could. But I thought there's some very funny lines in there. What I really like about it, which I suppose is slightly different to Blackadder and Monty Python. Kind of, I mean, obviously, with horrible histories, they are going for the actual history, yeah. and they're trying to teach you the actual history, but doing it in a playful and an amusing way. And obviously, horrible histories is aimed at children. Is that on CB? It's on CBBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is. It is. A, it's a children's program. Mm. Um, whereas this obviously is a f feature film, uh, so the whole family can enjoy it. Um, well, I enjoy horrible histories with my kids. They go. Honest, when they when they when it's on, I'll make a point of sitting down and watching it with. Them. <laughs> no, that's I'm great. Not. I mean, I've only so well. We should. We can, I can maybe say this kind of this film is actually in my uh, territory because I work in a Tudor castle. There you go. <laughs> so this is like right up my street. This one, I won't tell you which Tudor castle. There's a few in the country, but I'm not going to tell you which one so you don't turn up on my door. <laughs> trying to get an autograph. Well. So we're not there yet. Um, but anyway, so that's what I do. And I should have done this in costume. because I should actually, have done. I have Damn. a costume that uh, I wear sometimes. Uh, so this, yeah, that would have been hilarious. But no. no. So, um, <laughs> not today. But uh, I... I no, and, and I suppose from that, what I was going to say was, yeah, so when I got the job, I had to, you know, learn about the Tudor period, and obviously we know, you know, Henry VIII, and we know all that kind of stuff, but I had to do a bit more history learning, so I could speak to the visitors, yep. and instead of reading this big book on Henry VIII by David Starkey, I opted for Horrible Histories episode on Henry VIII, <laughs> and it was amazing, and I learned yeah. so much from it, and then, but that then kind of got me really wanting to then go and read the book, mm. and other books as well, so I think it's a really, you know, I mean, we don't, I don't think we have, I think, did they take... Tudor off the curriculum in this. I don't know if. Well, they still do. I remember doing it at school, but we I don't, did my it, kids haven't done it. But yet. I think Michael Gove cut it mm. at some point. I don't know if maybe it's, they still do it. I mean, they certainly learn about castles and, mm. and things like that in school nowadays, but I'm not entirely sure if they actually do the Tudor period. But, you know, you will hear about it anyway. And I think, I think Horrible Histories is a really good place to get um, for, for children. I think it's done really well. 
Um, I think the Henry VIII one has Ryan Atkinson. He plays Henry VIII in that one. Um, obviously, Ryan Atkinson, famous for Blackadder. I thought it worked really well. There's some nice nods to actual things that happen in history. Mm. The whole thing with Christopher, when he meets Christopher Marlowe. I mean, if you watch a film like Shakespeare in Love, which is you know the kind of one of the one of the mythologies yeah, surrounding yeah. Shakespeare, um, was he influenced by him? Was he not? Uh, I think they play with that really well, and that, it, I think they play with the history quite well, even almost better so than than some of the the Tudor films. I mean, mm. before Christmas, I watched. Um, I kind of went back and watched a lot of the, the, the famous Tudor films and I watched Elizabeth the First uh, with Kate Blanchett. But that one, they really make up a load of history that never happened. <laughs> so this one they don't. I mean, obviously it's a send-up, but they're, they're kind of hitting beats that, that, that took yeah. place and things like that. I don't um, think they dressed up as like fruit and veg in the market, did they? No. No, no there's a few modern things in there. Um, I mean, it does also, I think, and for me, this is where it suffers, but this is only a personal thing, is that I get a, I, I get a little bit sometimes bored of that. It's hard to describe. I think it came out of The Office, and it was kind of, you know, uh, Martin Freeman's Tim character, mm. that kind of very, all the kind of, uh, those sarky mannerisms that he has, mm. which... Every British comedy since then has now does. You'd know it when you when you see it. And sometimes it works really well. Sometimes I feel like they're trying too hard with it. I thought it was a very funny scene when um, the Earl of Crawley rocks up. Uh, well, Earl of Croydon, Earl of Crawley. And that scene with the two guards as he's trying to get into yeah. the palace is very funny. Um, there was a joke that made me laugh out loud when... Uh, obviously, spoilers, but, you know... <laughs> Whatever, um, but there's a very funny moment later in the film uh, between Bill Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe in a in a prison cell. That's all I'll say. Right. And it's very funny. I thought that was done really well, and there was one 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 gag that just made me crack up. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. I was really really surprised because I, I thought it's not going to be great, but I I really enjoyed it, and it was a, it's not long. It's an hour and a half. And it's got some great performances. I really like the guy playing Bill Shakespeare. I mean, you said to me before, there's loads of people to mention. I didn't recognise any mm. of them. A couple of them. <laughs> Obviously, Damien Lewis is in there. He yeah, he's a got cameo, a little cameo in there, the yeah. And then there's also Helen McCrory. McCrory? Yep. Who plays... She plays Elizabeth I in the film. She actually... Mm. It's quite, she does it quite well, actually. And she does it with a kind of a strange lisp mm. on her. With a kind of a... Yeah. And some horrible teeth. It's very horrible <laughs> teeth. Which is... A first, actually, because usually I think Kate Blanchett had quite good teeth. Did she? <laughs> well, Elizabeth, Elizabeth I was notorious for having really bad teeth, mm-hmm. which is, you know, they never open their mouths in their <laughs> paintings. So she had, like, really, really bad teeth. And then because she had bad teeth and she was queen, all, the, all her people of the country tried to, like, get bad teeth <laughs> as well. So they, like, rub, rubbing sugar into their... <laughs> so, yeah, what a lovely place England was. Yeah. I yeah. often say to... Um, we get a lot of American tourists, obviously, mm. and they all, one of the things they they come in and they say, "Oh, wouldn't it be so li- lovely to live in the Tudor times?" And you're like, "No, it wouldn't. No, <laughs> at all. It was smelly. It was dirty. Plague. Plague. You know, Rats. you wouldn't you wouldn't survive very long. No. Just no. I mean, no I know food. it looks I know it looks lovely because you watch Wolf Hall and the other Berlin girl, and everyone looks like <laughs> Eric Banner and Scarlett Johansson. But no, they didn't. It was horrible, horrible time. That's- that's the other thing they do on Horrible History sometimes is uh, uh, historical bake-off. Right. <laughs> they do the food at the time. Some of the things they do is absolutely revolting. So, no. So the guy playing Bill Shakespeare is Matthew Bainton. I, I've not seen him before, but he reminded me of Ben Whishaw. You know, the, mm. the guy who plays or Paddington Bear, the voice of Paddington Bear. And yep. other things. That kind of nice, gentle, spoken <laughs> um, young man yeah. who I thought, and he, I thought he did it really well. Um, oh yeah, that was another gag that I, that made me laugh a lot, which was the uh, so the beginning of the film when Shakespeare, before he becomes a writer, he's playing um, like a lute uh, in a in a local band, pub band, uh, and they're called Mortal Coil. And of course, he gets kicked out because he's trying to like play these crazy. It's a bit back solos. to the future that scene. A little bit back to the future. He kind of goes over the top with his solos, and uh, and then when they they kind of kick him out and they leave, and the joke is, um, well, we'll be sh- we'll, we'll, we'll be shuffling off. off then or something like that. <laughs> It's very funny. Uh, it's, yeah, it's some, some great stuff. But yeah, to go back to the cast, so there are, you can talk about, because you know probably well, There's more. Simon Farnaby, who plays the Earl of uh, Crawley or Croydon, whichever. 
much if you like. I mean, the other thing to remember is people play multiple roles. I mean, much like Monty, Monty Python. Python yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they all have their main roles, but you will see the same people cropping up playing playing smaller roles. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he, he's in there. I mean, he's. I mean, he was in Paddington too, mentioning that. Um, and, you know, he's recognised. He was in Mindhorn uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, rec- I recognised him. Mm. I just couldn't place him. That so, time. yeah, I mean, a lot of these people, if you, you know, outside of the UK, not as recognisable. But in the UK, if you, you, know, if you watch telly, <laughs> which you don't, <laughs> then you might recognise. But, I mean, a lot of them, they, you, you know, they, they are mainly known from uh, Horrible Histories and Yonderland. So you've got Martha Howe. Douglas and uh, Jim Howick and Lawrence Rickard and Ben Wilbond. I mean, those last two, um, they also wrote it as well. Like I say, if you've, if you've watched Horrible Histories or Yonderland, then, then they will be instantly recognisable too. I mean, Horrible Histories, just like uh, this film, you know, having a cameo or two in it, Horrible Histories has, you know, the old cameo for well, people. I mean, uh, was in there, yeah, exactly. Right. Alice Lowe is sometimes in it, um, people like that. So I should watch more of them. You should. They they're really good. They're really good. I mean, I mean, you know, I can tell that that the information goes into my kids' heads. They remember stuff. Yeah, and I they think, don't even realise they're mean, doing that's, it. That's what I really enjoyed about it is that they are. It is. It's not heavy, heavy history, but no. it's 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 giving you all the things you need to know. And I mean, I've I've used stuff that I saw that in those episodes when I do tour, tours mm. at work, you know, because you, you do, you stick in. And uh, no, I think I think I think it's a great show, and I I should watch. More of them. Um, there was actually. Uh, did you did you spot the 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 joke from Monty Python from Holy Grail? Uh, yeah. oh, I can't remember. Bring out your dead. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> great line from Holy Grail. Another great <laughs> film. Uh, yeah. No, I think. Um, yeah, I was I was warmly, pleasantly surprised. So thank Excellent. you for mentioning this one because I didn't really. Right. When you mentioned it, I was like. What? <laughs> What's that? Uh, and well, that's the thing. It's, it's it sort of been a bit overlooked, to be honest. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it outside really the has. UK, it's you know it's a difficult sell because there's no apart from Damien Damien Lewis, there's no big names in it. Yeah, um, of course, yeah. So, but, and obviously, you know, it's about think, an Eng- you know it's about Shakespeare. Well, Shakespeare obviously is known around the world, but um, I mean, I think you know, I think it's yeah. I mean, obviously, so Monty Python is a staple British. Uh, comedy sketch show that mm. we had here in the, in the, in the seventies, but of course the films Life of Brian, Holy Grail, Meaning of Life um, have a worldwide audience, and there's no you know I wouldn't I mean this is not it's not Monty Python it's not like that kind of strange surreal humour, and it doesn't feel like a Monty Python film does, but you know I I suggest if you're outside of the UK you'd like to learn a little bit about our history. <laughs> A little well, bit. Well, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> so not a lot of it is, uh, is, actu- of it. is accurate. But... No, 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 actually don't. <laughs> Ignore me on that one. If you can see it overseas, I, I wouldn't, you know, I would suggest giving it a watch. It's, it's a great fun little film. Um, and you can see it at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it was on over Christmas on TV oh, in the UK. It? No. Uh, it's also on Amazon Prime at the moment. Um, you've got that, and I mean there is a DVD available uh, in the UK. It is on, out in the US as well, so you can find it over there. And um, yeah, there's no Blu-ray, unfortunately, but um, but yeah, it's it's not hard to track down. So that was Bill, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, then let us know in the comments below. Yep, hit the subscribe button up there if you've enjoyed what you watched. There's some other videos to check out over there. Uh, come and join us on Twitter and Facebook, and come back next week for another one.